Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? We got breaking news. Another earthquake, 6.5 just a few minutes ago, Tiakistan. And um, uh, it's, it's, it's only seven kilometers deep. So this is a very shallow, very powerful 6.5 mega quake shaking things up in Tiakistan. And uh, we're going to have to keep a close eye on this one, folks. I don't know if it's near any heavily populated areas. But we do know the mountain terrain there is very steep, very jagged, very rough terrain. And uh, this, I would expect to be several more aftershocks to follow. Now, it's too early to tell. It's the other side of the world, and it's very remote. And so getting information on what this type of damage or casualties this could have caused is just too early to tell. But it is a powerful 6.5 earthquake in Tiakistan, and, uh, and it's very shallow. So the earth continues to shake and quake. Uh, we know what happened yesterday, 7.0, Nicaragua. We know that that, just off the coast there, and off the coast of El Salvador, really, creating tsunami waves. Meanwhile, Nicaragua is dealing with Hurricane Otto that has come ashore, and mudslides flooding and torrential rain. So there's a lot going on. We've got to keep a close eye. Don't forget Israel is in a it's in a flames. It's in it's literally in flames. Terrorist, arsonist setting the hills of 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 Israel on fire near Haifa. Eighty thousand people had to be evacuated. Now there's fires breaking out uh, in Nazareth. There's fires in Jerusalem there's fires in the hills of Megiddo. Are you serious? And uh, it's just an ugly situation. So we'll keep an eye on that. So we're living in the days of chaos and uh, we'll continue to keep an eye. But again, 6.5 earthquake, Tiakistan. We'll just wait and see what information we get from that in the next few hours. Pray for the folks there. God bless. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. Are you serious? We're living in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He is coming soon.